Imagine this, you've got a major marketing event or a project update on the horizon to deliver to your colleagues. The pressure's on though for you to have some really engaging posters, professional images, and maybe even a video. But there's a catch, you've got no budget and your design skills are limited to word art in Microsoft Word. But here's a twist, we could now use AI and Copilot to create all of those professional grade assets in minutes. And you wouldn't need anything more than a paid Copilot license. And yes, you won't even need design experience. So in this tutorial, we're going to show how these new Copilot capabilities work. Together, we'll create new images, posters, and even videos that we could run at a future marketing event, all in real time. We'll assess the results together, and you'll be able to use these processes to impress your boss and make your next event a success. So if you're ready to get creative, well, let's get started. So let's get started and create some new marketing content with the help of Copilot. To do that, I've browsed over on a web browser tab to m365.cloud.microsoft, taking us in to new Copilot experience. On the left hand side, you'll see a button for create. Go ahead and left click that button. And in here now, we can begin to create our new marketing assets. But do be aware, the experiences I'm going to be showing you today require a Microsoft 365 paid Copilot license. Yes, whilst you will see the Create button if you have a free Copilot account, you won't have the options to create some of the content I'm showing you today, which is only available under a paid license. Now, now we understand that, let's go ahead and create some of our first marketing content. With any great content, we need to also define a brand and color scheme. And with Copilot, we can also go ahead and create our own brand kits. By left-clicking this option here for brand and color, we can select Create Brand Kit to create our own brand for our project or company. What we need to firstly do is give our brand kit a name. With our name now defined, we'll go ahead and select Create. And in this experience, we'll now begin to add content, logos, colors, fonts, and more. Well, let's now go ahead and add in our Project Green Space logo. We can then define the color scheme we want to use. And I'd now recommend having multiple colors here to also use across your content. Firstly, select Add Color and then choose either via the hex code or from the color palette which color you would like to use in your content. With that now done, we can also add more colors. And as we mentioned, it's probably worth considering adding at least four colors into your color palette. With our colors now defined, let's go ahead and also add our brand font. And we can select from these fonts here or upload your own custom fonts too. With our font heading now defined, select add new and add other fonts for the body and also additional subheaders to use inside of your content. With our fonts now selected, we can also add additional images from your brand, templates, but importantly on the brand voice, we're now going to define how the brand sounds across content and communication to ensure that any content created is now fully understood by Copilot creating the best content that it can. With our brand voice now defined as using friendly language written in British English and ensuring it's always professional, but ensuring we don't use bullet points or emojis in any content created, we'll go ahead and select done. And now our brand kit is ready to go. We can use this in any of the content that we create through Copilot. So let's go back and select design a poster. What I now want to do is go and create a poster for around our public event that we're running for Project Green Space. I've given information on how this poster should be titled and also the timings and dates of the event itself. With the brand color, I'll now select the Project Green Space branding and then select Create. And Copilot will now begin to create us a new poster for the event itself. Let's give it a few minutes and see what it creates for us. And there we go, we now have four options we can choose from from Copilot. Now you could absolutely click on the download button and download it to your computer and then also, you could then share that with your colleagues or copy it to put into a Word document or PowerPoint. If you want to also make changes to what Copilot creates, click on the Edit button and you'll be taken into an editor where you can now make changes around the style and more and again, use the AI capabilities of Copilot. And with four more posters created by Copilot, we can see these previewed in the window here. Let's now select one of these which can work forward with. And there we go, that looks much more professional for our event that we've got coming up for Project Green Space. Again, we can now go ahead and download a copy of this to our local computer. 
and then share it with our colleagues as well. So that's a professional poster created with the help of Copilot in just a few minutes that we could also make changes to. If you're watching this and thinking, this is amazing, Scott, but where do I even start with Microsoft 365 and Copilot? To be honest, you're not alone. At Your 365 Coach, we work with businesses and professionals every day who want to make the most of Microsoft 365, but just need the right guidance. So whether you're looking to get started with Copilot, optimize how your team uses Microsoft 365, and roll out new digital capabilities across your business and team, our expert consultancy coaching and training can certainly help you. So if you're ready to take your next step in Microsoft 365, why not head over to the link below and get in touch with us, we'd love to help you out. Now back to the tutorial, and let's see what else Copilot can create for us. But let's try something a little different with Copilot, creating an image. Rather than a poster, we have imagery needed to put into some of our proposals. Once again, we can now define with Copilot the description of the image, styling, brand colors, and also the size. Let's select describe your image and then give Copilot its prompt. So pasting this prompt to Copilot to design a clean modern image, we also ensure that we want to look professional enough to appear on signage, websites, and printed flyers. We can select from the style it can create, and as this is a professional image, we can also go and select from a flat design. In addition, the brand and colors once again, we'll use our brand kit for Project Green Space, and the size of the image itself, well, I think a square would be more than sufficient to use in some of our flyers and paperwork. Let's go ahead and select Create, and Copilot will now begin to run and create an image for Project Green Space. And there we go. Copilot's now created us an image that we can use in our reports to outline the project itself and around the community-led regeneration efforts that the project is going to be involved with. We again can make changes to it on the right-hand side, changing the styles, the brand and colors, and also the sizes once again. But I'm happy with this and once again could copy or download it from Copilot to use in some of our additional assets. And finally, let's also consider creating a video with the help of Copilot. At our event for the community, I'd like to have a video playing that outlines the project and also the importance of community feedback. So let's go ahead and select create a video and we can now describe the video that I'd like Copilot to create, outlining that I'd like a promotional video for Project Green Space. The video should explain the project's goal, turning an old industrial site into a vibrant green community space. And also ensure it has a call to action, Join us on the 6th of July to shape your future green space. I could even add PowerPoint files to further give content to Copilot to help improve the video. With this prompt, let's now go ahead and select Create. And Copilot in real time will now begin to create our video content. And in just a few minutes, Copilot has now created this video. It's the first time I've seen it, so let's go ahead and click on Play to see what it's created for us. Imagine a place where nature meets community. Project Green Space is on a mission to transform an old industrial site into a vibrant green space for everyone to enjoy. We've got parks, walkways, and a play area in mind, and we need your ideas to make it happen. Picture lush parks where children can play, walkways for morning jogs, and relaxing spots for community gatherings. This green space will enhance our neighborhood, promote well-being, and connect us all. But we can't do it without your feedback. Join us on the 6th of July for our community feedback event. Share your thoughts and ideas on how we can make this green space truly special. Together, we can shape a brighter, greener future for our community. And there we go. A pretty good first effort from Copilot we can now refine. There are some changes I'd like to make. For example, the style and tone. By clicking into this button on the right hand side, we could also make changes to it as well, maybe making it more vibrant and upbeat. In addition, for the voice itself, we can also change the actual voice, more masculine, neutral, and so forth. For the music, well, I'm not too sure the music worked very well for this, so I'm just going to select for ambient music instead, and now ask Copilot to create a new draft. And once again, in real time, it begins to create a second version of the video that will be available to us in just a few minutes. And now version two has been created by Copilot. Let's play it and have a look at what it's created for us. Imagine a place where nature thrives, where parks bloom, 
and where families gather to play and relax. Project Greenspace is on a mission to turn an old industrial site into a vibrant community space that we can all enjoy. Our goal is to create lush parks, inviting walkways, and a safe play area for children. This space will be a hub for all ages, fostering community spirit and environmental awareness. Join us on the 6th of July to share your thoughts and help shape your future green space. Your input is invaluable, and together we can make this dream a reality. So a much better version created by Copilot a second time around. But if you'd like to make changes to this video file, you absolutely can. Select Editing Clipchamp and you'll be taken into Clipchamp, which is now the editor for these videos, built into Microsoft 365. You don't need an app to use this editor, it's all based for a web browser tab. And you'll see that all the content we can see in the video is editable. The text, the visuals, the script, the voice, the music and more. So you're in full control about what you want to make changes to in this video. But heading back to our Create tab, if you're happy to use it, go ahead and click on the Share button from the right hand side. And as you can see, we could share a copy with our colleagues or even have a link to download it and then use it in other platforms like YouTube and more. So as we can see, our marketing campaign is now ready to go. We've got a new poster, a video to play at the event, and some additional imagery to use in some of our reports and presentations, all created in minutes with the help of Copilot. So let's take a moment to reflect on what we've achieved, because not too long ago, all of this, while it would have seemed completely impossible, the ability to create posters, images, and videos in a matter of minutes without expensive design software or creative background. Just a few prompts, a bit of creativity, and Copilot did the rest for us. And you've now seen how you can use these capabilities to create professional grade content faster than before, giving you more time to focus on the bigger picture while still delivering these materials that stand out from the crowd. And of course, I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you're planning to create first with Copilot and what you thought of this tutorial too. And if this video gave you some new inspiration, don't forget to give it a like. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to join thousands of other professionals getting more from the tools they already have. So other than that, thanks for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.